welcome back to my channel. My name is Samri and today I'm going to be teaching you five easy tricks that you can learn how to do with your bow staff. So this bow staff is actually from Century Martial Arts. I saw it and I was obsessed with like the color combination, so I decided to get this one. If you're looking for a good bow staff to use, check out all of the options on the Century website. They have so many to choose from, whether you want a traditional bow staff or a competition one like this, they have a bunch of different colors as well. Also, if you use my code SAMRI10, you can get 10% off anything on the Century Martial Arts website. If you are really interested in learning the bow staff and you're still a beginner, I have a whole course that you might want to check out. It is called Beginner Bow Staff and pretty much in the course, I teach you all of the strikes. I teach you tricks, I te teach you rules, I teach you a throw, and I even teach you how to do an entire form. So I put together a combination into a form with kicks and tricks, and um, I break it down so you can follow along and learn everything for beginner bow staff. I will leave the course link in the description below if you wanna check it out, and let's go ahead and start learning the five easy tricks that you can do for a beginner bow staff. Okay, so the first trick that we're learning is a hand roll. So to do a hand roll, what I want you to do is find the middle of your bow staff and then go a little bit closer to the end that your pinky is closest to like this. From here, all you're gonna do is rotate the bow staff around towards your pinky. You're gonna let it roll around the back of your hand and catch the other side, okay? So one more time, you're a little bit offset from the center. You're gonna roll it around the back and catch the other side. You can also do this going on the way back. So instead of rotating this way, we're gonna rotate back this way now, ready? Just like that. So we can do one way and the other way. Okay, as you get the hang of it, it's easier to go a little bit quicker. Just make sure that you can do both sides, one side and then the other side. Some things that you wanna watch out for is make sure that you're not tossing it. It should be touching your hand the entire time. You don't want it to be jumping up in there and catching that is a whole different trick so just make sure it is a straight roll like this this is a great easy beginner trick to learn and then you can add it into other things like a figure eight hand roll that looks like this or you can add it right before a throw there are so many ways you can put it in a combination but it is a good first step just learn how to do a hand roll and then you can go into a strike whatever you want just practice those hand rolls first Okay, trick number two is gonna be a fake neck roll. A fake neck roll looks really cool, especially when you're spinning because it kind of looks like an illusion. So to learn the fake neck roll, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the center and you're gonna put both sides of your hands like this so your palms are facing towards you. Get it really close to your neck and what you're gonna do is let go with one hand, put it down by your side and the hand that's holding onto it, take it behind your back on that side like this. Then you're just gonna come back to the middle, okay? Same thing on the other side. Drop the other hand, take it to the side. Okay, let's just get used to making that motion back and forth, back and forth like this. You got it. So from here, one, you're actually gonna start here on the back like this and you're gonna go one fake neck roll all the way to the other side. Just like that. Try to make it nice and smooth. Stay close to your neck just to give it the illusion that it's spinning a lot more times than it actually is. Once you get the hang of it, what you can do is do your fake neck roll, and with the other hand, you can either do a palm strike, you can do a punch, you can do a low block, whatever else you wanna do with that free hand. Now to add the spinning portion. So all you're gonna do is the same movement. You're gonna start over on one side, and you're gonna spin your body the same direction that you're spinning your bow staff. When you step for the first step as you're spinning, this is where you grab it together in the front of your neck. As you step out, that's when you rotate it to the other side to finish the move. So one more time on the way back, I'm stepping forward, I'm grabbing the center, I'm stepping around, it's coming around, and like I said, this free hand, do whatever you want with it. As it becomes easier, you can make it faster, make it smoother, so it looks more like an illusion that it's spinning more times than it actually is. And that is your fake neck roll. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna learn is called an overhand switch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bow staff and we're gonna balance it on the top of our hand like this. So just find a place where it's just gonna be balanced. Um, for me, it's like at the top, like the bottom part of my fingers, right in the middle of my hand, okay? 
What you're gonna do is you're gonna take it behind you, over your head, and then catch it behind. Now, in order to be able to do this trick, what you're gonna do is have your hand out here like this. You're gonna bring it over and then bring it down. Now, one thing that you don't wanna do is try and go straight over your head like this. You're rotating through the outside and that's what makes it easier to catch behind you. So one more time, it is balancing. Once I get it over to this high part, I'm gonna let it fall to the side of my hand and then just catch it on the way down. Okay, so from a side view, this is what it looks like. One more time. And what you can do with your other hand, let's say that we were in a punch here and it's the beginning part of your form and you're about to go into the fast part, you're gonna grab it and this hand can do a low block, this hand can do a palm strike, whatever you want, it's just an illusion that the bow staff is floating behind you and you are catching it. Practice this trick a lot, it is a great way to incorporate it into your form. Okay, the next easy trick that we're gonna learn is just gonna be an overhead spin. Looks like this. Try not to hit the walls in my house. Just like this, okay. In order to do this, what you're gonna do is start with your hand in the middle, and let's go ahead and just bring it straight up above our head. You're gonna have your hand palm facing you. You're gonna spin the bow staff towards you, and then you're just gonna catch a side, bring it over to the other side. Okay, it's the same movement if you know how to do a spin like this. Same motion. So we're gonna start off pointing down towards the ground. We're gonna lift it up over our heads. We're gonna rotate, catch another hand, and bring it back down. Let me show you so that you can follow along like this. We're over here, we're gonna come up, rotate, grab, switch hands, point to the other side. This is a really fun trick to just add in between moves. So let's say you're in a strike. What you can do is rotate it up and go to the other side. You can even do this, I don't know if I have enough room, if you're spinning at the same time, right into going into the next strike. Practice this, make it faster, make it smoother, and just add it into whatever combination you're using with your bow staff. Okay, the last easy trick that I have for you with a bow staff is gonna be an elbow roll. So we learned how to do a hand roll earlier. This is gonna be the same concept, but instead with your elbow. So you're gonna set up by grabbing it just like you did for the first part of your hand roll. You're gonna bring your elbow over like this. So mine's just touching my, my hand's touching my shoulder in a tight fist and my elbow's sticking out right in front of me. So all you're gonna do is rotate, make sure the center touches all the way, rolls around and catch on the other side. It's easier to do if you do it a little faster. Just like that. So this is a really fun trick to add in. Maybe you're doing a figure eight, you wanna add it into a elbow roll like this. Just mix it up. A lot about bow staff and weapons in general is just being creative and putting your own flair to all the tricks. So try and experiment, find out what works for you, what you like to do, create a new trick if you can, and just have fun with it. I hope that you enjoyed all of the five easy tricks. Make sure that if you do want to learn more about bow staff, you can check out my course for beginner bow staff. In the course, I teach you all the strikes, tricks, rolls, and a combination that you can do. I put it into a whole form and some alterations that you can do with some kicks and some tricks as well. I will leave that link in the description below. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any videos, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye guys, have an awesome week training.